In case you don't know Alex Jones, well, I happen to do a marvelous impersonation of Alex Jones. Would you like to see it? <laughs> hey, I do a marvelous impersonation of Alex Jones. Would you like to see it? <laughs> Much requested okay. impersonation of Alex Jones. Much requested impersonation of Alex Jones. So, 9-11 comes along and people like Alex says the government did it. <laughs> but don't you see, uh, if Alex doesn't like a sandwich, he says the government did it. Oh yeah, right, Alex's mind is oh, a little made up. The problem, <laughs> yeah, like most conspiracy guys, Alex's mind is a little made up. Now, if you go to these websites, those are the, my favorite debunking 9-11 conspiracy theory websites. Uh, if you are a little sick of hearing about how well it's proven, you know, it's like these guys will say it's so obvious. I heard George Humphrey say, oh, it's so obvious. And Alex, it's so obvious. Well, guys, if it's so obvious, everybody would know. <laughs> If it were really obvious, guys, we wouldn't be laughing at you. <laughs> but at these sites that I'm pointing out to you, those are the, my favorite one-stop 9-11 conspiracy theory debunking sites. <laughs> at any one of these sites, you can find all of that 9-11 lore debunked, pretty much. And what is the conspiracy people's reaction to this debunking? What do you suppose? Well, they just ignore it. <laughs> I see no sign of Alex or George or any of these guys paying attention to the fact that every smoking gun has been debunked. <laughs> go to those sites. If you don't believe me, go to those sites. And you'll see these people have actually checked the, the facts uh, behind the 9-11 conspiracy things, and it adds up to nothing. <laughs> no, it adds up to, there was no, there was no molten steel.